it's, um, it's possible to be half watching the breath. It's possible to sink into the breath in a certain way, but not really be paying attention. Um, same thing with the in-breath, of course. And then there's the gaps. There's the space between the in-breath and before we begin the out-breath. And there's a space after the out-breath, before we begin the in-breath. And all four of those phases of breath have their own particular feeling, and every time they come around, they feel different. There's a lot to get interested in. There's a lot to get fascinated in with not only that, but oftentimes there's a spot in the breath where our attention firms up, and there's a spot in our breath where we tend to drift off. Very often, for many people, it's that moment at the end of the out-breath when the lungs are empty for a moment before we begin the in-breath, where the mind just goes, shoo, settles. If we notice that and catch that, we can actually make the subtle effort to carry that stability and emptiness of mind through the in-breath, through the gap to the out-breath, through the next out-breath. And practicing with the breath in that way leads to a continuity of attention. Continuity of attention leads to depth. It's like running the striker continuously around the rim of a Tibetan bell. If you run it around enough times, the bell will begin to sing, right? We can do the same thing with our breath. Something in us may begin to sing. We tend to lose our attention on transitions. So a lot of us will sit well, and then when kinhin comes, boom, it's gone, right? So what helps me a lot is before I move into kinhin to take a moment to center myself again, when I'm on my feet to again connect with the breath. Um, not for, even if you have to go out to use the bathroom, you can stay with your breath. You don't have to lose your uh, connection with the breath. Guess what? You go back for that next period, it's going to be a lot deeper than if your mind just goes, you know, fizzles when you get up, which actually happens to a lot of us if we're not careful. Not to mention the longer breaks, right? So. I try not to lose my connection with that spirit of inquiry at any time during a week-long session. Of course, I'm not always successful, <laughs> but I can be successful for long periods of time, and it, the longer we can remain continuous with our practice. the. Uh, the more continuity we summon, the deeper the practice gets. The deeper the practice gets, the better we're able to deal with the hindrances when they inevitably come up.